Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I feel like I haven't done a video in forever, even though I just did the <laughs> embossing powder one, but I feel like I've crafted way more than I've videoed lately. So, this is um, last week, last week, um, in preparation for working on this mini album that I'm going to do um, in the next video. I'm going to show you in the next video. Um, I did some flowers. Um, my flower drawer was getting low, and so I have a whole drawer of uh, just my handmade flowers. And every once in a while, I'll stop and do a bunch more, and maybe do a different, a little different technique, painting or or even glue them together. There's several several different techniques you can use, and I didn't bring any of the other roses out to show you, which I should have, just because these are. A, uh, relatively quick and easy and little less chance that you'll burn your fingers because some of the some of the roses are rather difficult to do without um, some of the glue buddies or whatever to put on your fingers without without burning yourself but these are a little easier all this is is the medium EK success punch and I think it's a two inch punch, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So, um, I've got these just random <laughs> starburst sprays that I started with. And those green ones are the, um, Freaky Frankenlime. No, Sammy, I'll let you in in a minute, buddy. Um, I did some of the, um, Witch's Potion Purple. I, I did a bunch of them, but some of them I've used already. <laughs> um... The Hagwarts orange. I did some in the, um, what's the other orange that I have? Oh, yeah, the Red Hot Poker orange. I did some of the Autumn Maple Crimson, the uh, Screaming Banshee Black, and then the um, Tainted Love Teal. So those are the ones that I have to show you right now. I also did the Ponderosa Pine Olive and... Um, what was it I just said? Yeah, the Red Hot Poker Orange. I did some of those, but I've already used those. So here are the Freaky Frankenlime ones. And these are done real easy. Uh, all I've done is take the petals, put them on a sheet of paper, as you can see, in my spray box, and um, sprayed them. And then after the spray kind of soaked into the flower just a little bit, nowhere near dry. I spritzed them with a little spritz of water and then crumpled them up in my hand. And really, really crumple them. I mean, you want them to be wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly. Then open them back out and flatten them back out. I just used my, my glass that's on my table. Flatten them back out a little bit and then spray them to dry. And it makes this wonderful, stiff, great textured paper. Okay, and since I had to get up and let the dog out anyway, <laughs> he is very sound sensitive, and um, the microwave was going off, so he had to go out now. There was no waiting. So, here I went ahead and took them all out of the bag. Um, these are the um, Hogwarts Orange. The Freaky Frankenlime, the Witch's Potion Purple, and aren't those pretty? Of that color. These are the Autumn Maple Crimson. And like I said, you can see this is the paper that was in my spray box. And because it turned out so cool, I pulled it out right away. So that I can I can use it as a background for something. These, the flowers didn't they got turned when they got flipped over and I didn't necessarily realign them like I did on this side. So I've got several sheets of those now. <laughs> um, these are the Screaming Banshee Black. And I could have made them blacker, but I didn't, for the project that I'm wanting them for, I didn't want them black. So but they really turned out so pretty. And I love, if y'all saw Kate um, Sparkle Tart here on YouTube, she did some grungy um, steampunk flowers, and oh my goodness, they were so gorgeous, absolutely stunning. 
so I've got to, I've got to, <laughs> I've got to try some of those. A little more spray, and then she did ink of gold on the edges of them. Oh man, they were pretty. So, like I said, these are the mm -hmm, autumn maple crimson. So, that's those. Really simple. Uh, if anybody wants a tutorial on actually making the flowers, come back and let you know. It's really as simple as I said. Um, spray them with the Lindy's. And then spritz them with water, crumble them up, open them back out, and uh, heat them with your heat gun. And then just any old, um, not any old, but you know, just a, a rose tutorial. And you can make them look lots of different ways. Like I said, there's lots of different, um, for instance, how the petals, I'm sorry, how the petals in the center here all go in the same direction around the flower. You can do ones that the center is more closed up, um, where the edges of the petals are more ruffled. There's just lots and lots of different variations that you can do. Like this one is just done tighter, and it makes a much smaller rose. So, lots of lots of different variations that you can do on roses. So, then with this mini album that I finished... When I got done, I just almost killed the paper pad. I have like two half sheets and two um, full sheets left out of the out of the whole paper pad, and very few scraps. But I took the longest, the scraps that were still the twelve long, and I went ahead and made some rosettes out of them. I don't know if you can see this one's got glitter on it. I didn't want to take them out of the bag. And, of course, whenever I come across a need to use them, I'll decide on what center to put in them or whatever. This one also has glitter on it. I like these. So, that's what I've been up to. Oh, and one other thing. This, for the next, one of the next projects that I'm going to work on. It's a little polymer clay. Back up a little. Key lock. Sorry, I'm on my lanyard for my camera. Done with just um, the regular original Sculpey. And then I painted it black and rubbed it with the ink of gold. In the old gold and the old silver. And you see on the back, it's just plain white. Because it'll be glued down to the to the project so. so there's that I may save that and use that on an upcoming Valentine project not sure yet so all right I'll get this cleaned up eat my lunch and I'll be back with the oh my goodness mini album it turned out gorgeous I absolutely am in love with it it goes so well with the with the saloon girl box so I'll probably start the video out re-showing the saloon girl box just uh, I've had a few new subbies and stuff since since then so uh, but then I'll show you the mini album okay the chunky mini album <laughs> I tell my husband all the time I am a chunky mini so of course I love chunky minis so alright I'll be back holler at y'all later bye now